What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh! So in today's video, we're installing cheap tires on the Mark 7 GTI. If you guys remember from a while back ago when I installed the GLI wheels. Uh. If you guys take a look, I mean there's absolutely no bends on these rims. So my best guess is that either one of the balance sheets came off of here because there's a few of them that look that way or uh, I'm, I'm really not sure. They're just, I think they're just out of balance. 12 seconds later. I actually took them from a car that was traded in um, at work and, uh, and, and those had different tires than the ones that came with the Austins. Now I bragged about those tires being a little bit better in the snow, which was true, but it just so happens that Ever since I got those tires, there's been some kind of weird noise um, coming from my wheels. And I definitely think it's the tires because when I flipped over for, uh, to the new wheels, I still had the same noise. Um, now, upon further inspection, I believe there is a flat spot in a couple of them because the car was sitting for a while um, in the back. And uh, when I first installed the wheels or turned on that car, uh, the tire pressure light was actually on. So um, I think it lost some pressure ended up flat spotting because it was never moved and uh, for some reason it just it hasn't gone away so as you guys know I'm cheap and I don't like to spend a lot of money on certain things I was looking for a set of tires that I could run through the summertime and then swap over to winter wheels uh, once the next winter comes because we're definitely gonna do winters and uh, different wheels uh, for the winter setup but again I was looking for a inexpensive summer performance tire and uh, I actually came across a couple of them. Um, I was looking at Kumo tires and uh, I was looking at their extra, I don't remember the name, but um, it ended up being like $94 uh, on tire rack each. So I told my buddy JR from the JR14 channel, which you guys know, um, that I was going to get these tires and he's like, dude, I, I'm gonna run a set that's probably less expensive. So. He told me about these tires that I'm gonna go pick up and uh, I actually found them on walmart.com for dirt cheap. I know what you guys are gonna say. It's Walmart tires, dude. Really? <laughs> but Walmart actually sells every single kind of tire online and they actually put a lot of specials out um, on different sizes, on different times if you order online and ship, from, and ship to store. Don't be scared to order from like the bigger manufacturers because usually because they buy so much they can usually sell for a lot less expensive. And I am all about supporting those who support me but right now I don't really have anyone um, as far as the tire sponsor go that I'm gonna go spend money on. So yeah, I'm gonna be as cheap as I can. So let me stop rambling. Let's head over to Walmart because my tires are there. Um, it was supposed to come in like about a week and a half and it came in like three days. So let's go pick these up, let's slap them on and then hopefully that sound is gone. Take a look at that tread wear pattern, guys. It's uh, it's pretty unique. There's no line going across the middle, which kind of scares me as far as like water goes, but these things are actually pretty deep. So hopefully the water kind of just flushes out through there um, in wet conditions. I know I've read from some reviews that uh, these tires, uh, people love them uh, for like drifting because they're super cheap and they're very grippy. Uh, so I did my research on these um, there were mixed reviews obviously these tires do like to be in the dry so if you're driving it anywhere below 30 degree 40 degrees um, then it's not going to be good uh, you definitely want to drive uh, drive these in like really warm weather so that way you can get the best traction possible they look beefy as all hell oh my god it looks so freaking good the tread pattern is insane looking I've never seen anything like it um, hopefully because it doesn't have any like grooves that go straight across the whole tire like summer like uh, all season tires do hopefully they're still good in the rain I will get back to you guys on that but first let's go install these and get some first impressions going
All right guys, so the new tires are on and I can tell you there's absolutely no more noise, which is awesome, which means I nailed it and uh, I found the problem. Let's drive around and uh, see what these feel like because right now they feel good. First impressions, all positive. The car feels awesome. There's no more noise. So I don't think my car has ever felt as good as this, ever. So they're very smooth. They're kind of quiet. Um, I wouldn't say they're the quietest wheels out there. There's definitely like stock ones that are a little bit quieter. But over the exhaust, you really don't hear them. They are super 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 grippy like I can actually hold most of second gear uh, without you know starting to spin out and I can actually hold third without spinning out at all um, which is nice so it grips very well there's not a lot of jumping anymore I'm gonna test out this wheels for a longer period of time so that way I can give you guys a really good idea of what it's like to run performance tires that are somewhat inexpensive as opposed to the more expensive ones that run over $200 a piece. I got these on walmart.com for 68 bucks a piece. I was a little skeptical too. Now that they're on and they're mounted, the car feels phenomenal. Absolutely like a different car. So if you guys are debating on whether or not to get these wheels, wait a little while I'm not sure if I'll be releasing a full review on the tires. I will give you guys some feedback in another video regarding the tires themselves and how they've held up. I'm actually very curious to see how they hold up in the rain because like I said, um, it doesn't have that groove uh, going down the middle like most all season tires do. And these are performance, high performance summer tires. Thank you very much for watching guys. Thank you very much for the support. Remember, we still have stickers available, hashtag caffeine team stickers. So it's, if it's now 7 a.m. and you're watching the channel and you don't have a hashtag caffeine team sticker, then you're definitely missing out on something because you're definitely a caffeine team. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, go ahead and binge on some of my other videos because there are almost 200 videos now. Wow, time flies. But see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.